Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Henry Stern. I grew up here, so it's very good to be back home. Um, I'm running for the 27th district, um, and a lot of people today are going to tell you about what they're going to do. I would submit to you all to make your decision in this election based on what we've done. Uh, I'm proud that throughout my life, the work I've done has been standing up to bullies in all forms. Uh, I'm an environmental lawyer by training. I've worked in the juvenile justice system. I've stood up for environmental against environmental polluters throughout my career, working for Senator Pavley for the last four years. I started out at a law school at UC Berkeley, working for Henry Waxman in Congress, passing the most, trying to pass the most far-reaching climate legislation in the country, uh, pushing through billions of dollars of stimulus when our economy was on the brink. But that's all. Uh, belies the, the greater history and, and the soul of why I'm running for this office. And that all starts in this room, and that all starts in this community. Uh, I can't help but, but call out um, few women in this room who really taught me what it means to serve. First and foremost, my mom. So she's sitting in the back row. And, and what, what my mom and my family taught me and what this community taught me is that Malibu is about more than fancy homes. It's about more than status. It's about, it's about a value set. It's about how we treat our land and how we treat each other. In Malibu, no one's above anyone else, right? The celebrities go to the restaurant in their pajamas, and, and, and the carpenters and the gardeners are on equal footing with the biggest businessman in this community. So that same sense of equality and that same sense of value I'm trying to bring across this entire district and represent a very deep legacy that started with Fran Pavley, but I'm going to carry that on for you for the next decade to come. So thank you all for coming out today and look forward to the conversation. Thank you, Jim.